Oh. <sighs> really, dude? God, I can never get anything from this stupid app. Oh, they're restocking Prestos. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes! Yes! Mmm, that's awesome. We all remember that day, that fateful day in September, was it September, when pretty much nobody got <laughs> any of the Off-White collection. If you did, that's really lucky, but I mean, I tried for all of them and struck out big time, so I don't really know many people that did hit. If you did hit, congratulations. I myself didn't, but I thought it would be a neat idea to poke fun at Nike since I poke fun at Adidas all the time to show people that I'm not just a one-trick pony, nor am I a pony at all. I'm a human. At least that's what my doctor tells me. Welcome back, subscribers. Thank you guys and gals so much for all the support. I appreciate each and every one of you big time. Whether you're a frequent commenter, you don't comment at all, if you've watched one video, or if you've watched 80-some videos, because I think that's what I'm at right now. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you, so thank you so, 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 so much. Uh, if you do not subscribe, I hope you will. See that little red button down there in that general area? Hit that button and you'll immediately become a pal, an SB Mitch pal. Ugh. No, I'm not using, I'm not going to put those two together. But that's what, that's what I call it. Everyone has like people that watch their channel. They have nicknames. So we're all pals here. So I figured why not call everybody pals. So if you want to be a pal, watch us. We have fun. This is probably one of the more important of this series that I've ever recorded. It's my favorite series. It involves a potato. It's haul time. <laughs> This is the smallest, yet probably biggest haul video I've ever done. I have one thing. It's just a singular box. It is from my buddy, the man, the myth, the legend, the fanny pack. It's the dude, KT Paid. You guys can follow him on Twitter, at KT Paid. This dude rules. I've dealt with him numerous, numerous times. He is extremely trustworthy and incredibly legitimate. So I recommend you guys give him a follow. But I got this from him. I, I will say this has been sitting in this room for almost a week now. I've been taking my time getting to opening this because I knew it was gonna be a really good haul video. It deserves its own video, I guess you could say. So if you haven't seen what off-white pieces I have in my collection, well, I'll show you now. This first one I got a while ago, this is from my buddy. His Twitter handle is at Drone Kicks. I have the Air Max 90 off-whites in my size. They have not been un DS'd yet, but they will be. I got these for a really good price from a really good dude. His name is at Drone Kicks on Twitter, so follow him. The other sneaker I have in my collection from the off-white Nike collaboration is arguably probably one of the best sneakers of the year. A lot of places did say it was the best sneaker. It's the off-white Presto in my size. These are not going anywhere. Believe me, I got these from my man Og. His Twitter handle is at Big Swole One. This is a really dope shoe. So both of these I've had for a while. I wasn't a humongous fan of the off-white collection, but I understood how important it was for the sneaker world. So what I got from KT Paid, it's from it's from Dover Street Market. A lot of people got theirs from Nike. Some people got theirs from resale websites. I guess this is from Dover Street Market. So this was on a lot of websites. Top 10 sneaker list of 2017. Uh, number one on a lot. I know Hypebeast had it ranked number one. I think Soul Collector did too. Um, I know Complex had it as the number two with the Presto being number one. And Virgil Abloh won uh, the FNAA Shoe of the Year for this. It says Jumpman on the box. It's a size 11 in my size. This is the 10 Air Jordan 1. This is my first time opening these, so this is news to me too. This is... The Virgil Abloh Nike collaboration on the 10. This is the Air Jordan 1. 
The whole premise around the Off-White collaboration is deconstruction. Jordan Brand is kind of really particular about who they collaborate with. And for them to kind of let their guard down and say, Virgil, do what you gotta do as an artist, and let him go to town with these was pretty important, I think. It's based off of Chicago One, obviously. You can see the swoosh is not really stitched in anywhere. The materials on it are like nylon. There's the normal leather, the toe box, the side is all nylon. This, this part is suede, this part is leather, the tongue is deconstructed. The Nike Air is on the side, which is, yeah, it says 85 on the inside. I didn't even know that too, that's pretty cool. Um, there's so many subtle differences in this shoe compared to the regular one. This is a very special shoe, whether you agree with me or not. This shoe was an important shoe of 2017. A lot of people didn't like the Off-White collaboration. That's fine. That's what the beauty of the sneaker world is, is it's all subjective. I think these are cool. They're not my favorite of the Off-White collaboration. The Prestos are. But I recognize that this was an important shoe last year. So KT paid. Thank you so very much. I would have never imagined that these would be in my collection. Will I ever wear them? Is yet to be determined. This might take a little bit of uh, a little bit of work to wear, but regardless, KT Pate is a super legit dude. These got to me in a matter of two days. Check him out. Follow him on Twitter. He's a really good follow. Thank you, KT Pate. You are the man. Real quick, ransomnotesneakers.com has updated as of yesterday. It's a couple new things on there, but the most important thing is something I mentioned yesterday, which is called $50 February. And I said I'd give you some details on it, and here's the details. I have gathered 28 pairs of shoes, all well worth over $50, I might add. Nothing crazy heat, don't get me wrong. You're not gonna see like a pair of Yeezys or anything in this, but shoes that are mostly brand new, a couple are lightly, lightly worn. But what I'm gonna be doing every day at six o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, there will be a shoe released on the website for $50 shipped in the U.S. This is a really good opportunity if you need, you know, a pair of everyday beaters or there's a shoe on there that you actually wanted to get it for $50. There's a mix of sizes from like all the way from 6 youth to I think 12 is the biggest size. Most of them are in like the 9 to 11 range, so pretty good sizes. I'd say a good 80% of them are unworn shoes. Starting on February 1st at 6 o'clock p.m., check out rnsmnote.com. See what the $50 February shoe of the day is. There's a new shoe every day at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so 9 o'clock Eastern. But I'm very excited about that. I will actually be gone from the 6th to the 11th, so anything that's ordered between then, they won't be shipped until the 12th, but that doesn't mean that you can't grab a pair of shoes for $50 while I'm on vacation. To reiterate, February 1st, ransomnotesneakers.com or rnsmnote.com, $50 February, get a pair of shoes for $50 shipped in the United States. Good way to preview what's gonna be on the release is to follow me on Instagram. The store's handle on Instagram is at ransomnotesneakers. So check that out. I would really appreciate if you guys checked it out because you might find something you like. So if you find something you like, awesome. If not, that's totally cool too. Katie Paid, front and center on this one. I appreciate you big time. Thank you. Thank you subscribers. Thank you viewers. I will see you soon. Until then, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And remember, they're just shoes. If you're not having fun doing it, find something you have passion for. Find something you love doing. Grab it by the reins and just run away with it because why waste your time and why waste your energy doing something you hate? We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye now.